Saburo, shut the f <laughs> You don't even know what you're saying. Why are you dancing? Because you're doing a geometry construction. Both of us are literally crying while studying geometry. Well, to that I say, shut up. So now, first let's load up our compass. And now, I'm going to draw a line. Now, it might be a miracle to you, but in fact, drawing a line is actually not that hard. First, you need to draw a line. Then, you need to draw a line. See, not that hard now, is it? So, here's our line. And now, what we're going to do is I'm going to draw a completely unrelated point somewhere off the line. And now I'm going to pick some completely arbitrary point on the line. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my compass. Not so that it's ready for loading, but so that the point is over here and that the pencil, or in this case our marker, is over here. Then, all we need to do is be bad at using a compass. And, boom, we've drawn an arc of this set radius. <coughs> now, I'm going to find somewhere, <coughs> like over here, for example, that I can draw another arc. So, first, kind of want to mark this. And now, Hopefully, this is still the radius that I wanted before. Yeah, it basically is. So now, I'm going to draw a curve like this so that it also intersects this point. So bang, bang, yoink. So now, this is the culmination of our problem. Why? Well, you see this point over here where th these arcs intersect? Well, now we're going to connect the dots. So, connecting the dots is kind of hard because you have to make not one line, but several lines. And making the line itself is pretty hard, as I have proven. So, first you need a straight edge, then you need to screw up a million times, and finally, you have to draw a line without screwing up a million times, because your grip on the ruler was just too weak, or you were using a pen and you can't erase your mistakes, or you were using... Bada, 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 yada, yada, yada. So now, let's draw this line. And boom, that's it. Now, how is this angle perpendicular? Well, we know that these four sides are congruent. And we also know that the opposite sides here are parallel because we've drawn them using these arcs. If you have a parallelogram, where all four sides are congruent, basically like an equilateral parallelogram, you would call that a rhombus. And remember, the diagonals of a rhombus are always perpendicular. So, that's it. That's how to construct a perpendicular angle, but for proof of concept. Let's see if it really is perpendicular. And don't blame me if it's like 80 degrees because I'm not Picasso, okay? So, let's see. We've got zero degrees lining right over here. And it's just about 90. I know, I know, it's like 88. But shut up. So, that's it for today. Thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you in the uh, next one.